The member from Bramley, Gore Malt. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Every time there seemed there was a chance to get answers, the Premier seemed to be looking the other way. She claimed she didn't learn about the allegations of computer wiping until March 27, even though members of her staff had their computers wiped a year and a half ago. She never asked the Secretary of Cabinet for a briefing on email deletions. She claims she's never seen the report the, uh, on the internal government Minister investigation of the into computer wiping. Time, the Minister for Rural Affairs, this raises the question, time. Mr. Speaker. Is the Premier more interested in getting answers or advancing her own deniability? Thank you. Minister of uh, Government has to decide. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, you know, I, I thank the member for, for his question. He's pointing out exactly what we're saying over here, that uh, that it was a former member of the former Premier staff, Mr. Livingston, who is the topic of uh, the investigation by the Ontario Provincial Police, oh, and that uh, the current Premier was not involved. I'll remind him of his words yesterday in front of the committee. This is what the member said. In making your decision, this was to Mr. Wallace about the, uh, his interactions with Mr. Livingston, were there any points in time where you had contact with or you provided updates to information to anyone in the current Premier's office, Mr. Wallace? No. no. Did you provide Come updates on. to anyone, not perhaps in the Premier's office, to any Minister's office, or anyone affiliated with any of the Minister's office? Mr. Wallace, no, I did not. Mr. Speaker, Answer. this is a police investigation about Mr. Livingston. These are serious accusations. They are unfounded. We should allow the OPP to do their work. Supplementary. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, that's exactly the problem, Mr. Speaker. That's exactly the problem. Getting answers in a $1.1 billion scandal means asking the tough questions. The Premier claims she wanted to fix the problem that led to the, the actions that the Secretary of Cabinet called potentially criminally stupid. How does the Premier expect to fix the problems if she won't ask the tough questions how one, the $1.1 billion were wasted and how key information was destroyed? Thank <laughs> you.